Hi, I'm Tony Faithful. Welcome to this virtual tour of Merry Creek, brought to you by Merry Creek Management Committee. This tour is a general introduction and focuses on the geography of the Merry Creek catchment. Merry Creek has been the focus of community and agency efforts to rehabilitate it as an open space and habitat corridor for 40 years. Merry Creek is in Australia, in the southeastern state of Victoria. These are the boundaries of Merry Creek's catchment, shown in white. It covers around 391 square kilometres. The catchment is the area where rain that falls drains into Merry Creek. You can see that the lower third, or almost half of the catchment, is urban, and the upper half is mostly rural, although that's rapidly changing as the upper Merry Creek has been included in the growth area. The catchment was never heavily forested, mainly having supported basalt plains grasslands or grassy woodlands. Merry Creek is entirely within the land of the Wurundjeri Woiwurrung people. We recognise the Wurundjeri Woiwurrung people of the Kulin Nation as the traditional owners of the lands of the Merry Merry and pay our respects to elders past, present and emerging. The northern boundary of the Merry Catchment is formed by the ridge line of the Great Dividing Range, which I have made bright green. The Great Dividing Range stretches all the way along the east coast of Australia, dividing the inland areas from the wetter coastal plains. It peters out west of Melbourne, but there's still enough height north of Melbourne to form the watershed between the south flowing creeks like Merry Creek and the tributaries of the Goulburn River, which flow north into the Murray River. From the Great Dividing Range, the waters of Merry Creek flow over 60 kilometres into the Yarra River, or Birrarung, and then to Port Phillip Bay. You can see the Yarra has its headwaters in the forested hills of the Yarra Ranges, west of the Mount Borbor Plateau. The Merry Creek catchment is the largest subcatchment of the Yarra River in terms of area, but because it's low-lying and relatively flat, and is located on the western side of the catchment where rainfall is lower, it generates less flow than its area would suggest. On the Mary's east is the Darabin Creek catchment, and to the west is the Mooney Ponds Creek. Both the Mary and Mooney Ponds Creeks used to dry up to a chain of deep ponds in summer, but with urbanisation they now both tend to flow all summer. Merry Creek is on the eastern margin of a huge volcanic province known as the Victorian Volcanic Plain. The areas of brown are lava flows. The lava flowed from at least 11 eruption points in or near the Merry Creek catchment. The Merry catchment is relatively flat because the old valleys in the Silurian siltstone were largely filled by basalt flows from these eruption points over the last eight or so million years. Aitken Hill is one of the eruption points forming the boundary of the Merry Creek catchment, which remember is the white line. Crows Hill also forms part of the boundary. That's the valley of Deep Creek on the left. For some reason it never got filled with lava. Tullock Hill also forms part of the west boundary of the Merry Catchment. In the middle, there's Mount Ridley. Woody Hill isn't a volcano. It's a Silurian hill, which was there before the lava and now sticks out above it. It is being quarried for sandstone. Hayes Hill forms part of the eastern boundary of the Merry Catchment. Bald Hill is probably the oldest eruption point in the catchment at 8 million years since it erupted. Mount Fraser is recent by comparison only 800,000 years old and is being quarried for scoria. Springs Hill and Green Hill are smaller eruption points. Watching over the township of Wallen is the eruption point on Pretty Sally. The lava flows from all those eruption points form a rather complicated map. 
More about this in our planned geology tour. The lava flowed southwards to the Yarra River along the old valleys of Merry Creek 2.3 million years ago, that's in pink, and down the Darabin Creek 800,000 years ago, in light green, pushing the Yarra hard up against the siltstone hills of present-day Kew. The region was initially known as the Merry Merry. Merry is a Woiwurrung word for rocky. Saying it twice means very rocky. Merry Creek is characterised by these large bluestone basalt boulders and naturally features basalt escarpments. When the lava cooled, it hardened into bluestone, which is a type of basalt, which was quarried in many places along Merry Creek and used for building walls and bridges, lining gutters, etc. It is still used, sliced as footpath paving in Melbourne CBD, and crushed for gravel for roads and concrete. Moving back to the mouth of the Yarra River, where it enters Port Phillip Bay, we will fly upstream to where Merry Creek flows into the Yarra River, looking at interesting spots along the way. The Maribyrnong River is a major tributary of the Yarra. Much modified in its lower reaches, Mooney Ponds Creek is overshadowed here by the M2 freeway. The Yarra flows through Melbourne, Victoria's capital city and Australia's second largest city, with a population in 2018 of 6.5 million people. Here is Melbourne CBD with the Yarra flowing through the middle. Further upstream, flowing into the Yarra from the southeast, is Gardner's Creek, also overshadowed by a freeway, the M1. Here is where Merry Creek meets the Yarra. This is a place of great significance to the Wurundjeri people. It was heavily disturbed by the construction of the M3 Eastern Freeway in the 1970s. Luckily, concerted community action prevented the construction of a freeway along the lower Merry Creek. Merry Creek itself has 11 main subcatchments. Bracken Creek, which has long been put in pipes and is also known as the Preston Main Drain, or during the establishment of colonial Melbourne as Bullen's Drain. The Bracken Creek subcatchment isn't in the volcanic zone and drains Silurian clays and siltstones. Hidden Creek, which joins Merry Creek near Gough Street in Coburg, it too has long been barrel drained is densely subdivided and drains Silurian soils. Edgar's Creek, which flows through Edwards Lake, is mostly on the basalt. Muenston Creek, a rather industrial catchment as you can see. Central Creek, which flows through Nari Jarang remnant grasslands. Curly Sedge Creek, which flows through Galjinyak grasslands in Craigieburn. Aitken Creek, flowing through the southern side of Craigieburn. Malcolm Creek, flowing through the northern side of Craigieburn. Galcalo Creek is currently under development in 2022, but causing big problems with its highly erodible sodic soils. You can see straight blue lines where large swampy areas were drained. You can see how muddy the water looks and this has resulted in sediment pollution all the way down the Merry and into the Yarra River. Taylor's Creek flowing on the southern side of Wallen. Wallen Creek flowing on the northern side of Wallen, including Mittagong Creek which drains Hidden Valley and, well, not exactly a subcatchment, but the Upper Merry Creek, consisting of lots of very small subcatchments, which I haven't mapped, flowing into Merry Creek from the east. The very upstream end of Merry Catchment is at Heathcote Junction. The northern subcatchments are largely defined by the volcanoes. 
The eruption points and their lava flows formed many of the high points in the catchment, and the creeks have drained the new landscape created by the eruptions. Lava flows at times cut off parts of the valley, and wetlands formed in these areas. This is a reconstruction of where the wetlands were at the time of Melbourne's establishment. This tour is brought to you by Mary Creek Management Committee. Our offices are at 2 Lee Street, East Brunswick. The committee comprises representatives of the six municipalities along the creek, plus Friends of Mary Creek and Wallen Environment Group. Mary Creek Management Committee has developed a range of other virtual tours in the catchment which you might like to look up on our website.